You Are Mine by Max Licato, a story about contentment. Eli the woodcarver gave Punchinello a wooden heart with a keyhole right in the middle. Take this to your friends who are helping me build something. Punchinello took the wooden heart to his friends, Lucia, Molly, and Splint. Every day, Eli sent them more pieces, but the four women friends did not know what they were helping Eli build. After helping his friends, Punchinello peddled his cart to Wemmicksville. Eli had made a tiny village and all the wooden Wemmicks who lived there. When Punch got to the village, he saw other Wemmicks carrying stacks of boxes and balls. One named Tuck told Punchinello that good Wemmicks have lots of boxes and balls. Punchinello believed Tuck. Punchinello wanted to be a good Wemmick, but he had no money to buy boxes and balls. He sold his house and worked very hard to buy lots and lots of boxes and balls. Punch worked so hard that he had no time for Eli and his friends. At last, he had the most boxes and balls, but it didn't make Punchinello happy. He missed Eli and his friends and his house with his soft bed. The next morning, Punchinello awoke in Eli's workshop. I guess getting all these boxes and balls is what has kept you so busy, Eli said. Punchinello, you don't need to have boxes and balls to make you a good Wemmick. You're a good Wemmick because you are mine and I love you, Eli said. Eli placed a golden key in Punchinello's hand. Take this key to your friends who are helping me build something special, Eli said. Punchinello's friends were glad to see him. When Punchinello placed the key in the wooden heart, something amazing happened. A beautiful house popped up with a sign that said, Punchinello's house. It was a gift from Eli that meant, you are mine, Punchinello, and I love you.